Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday, and tonight we're opening a jumbo box of 2011 Topps Baseball Series 2. Um, I originally thought I had a box of Series 1, but I don't. I only have Series 2. You can see back in 2011, this box cost $140. I bought this out in Indiana at the Baseball Card Exchange when my brother and I went to the National uh, back at the end of July, and I paid $92 for this box. This will be a personal break. For me, hopefully we can find some autographs, maybe some short prints. Now, looking over the packaging of the box, I don't see any guarantee anywhere that says guaranteed one autograph per box. In Jumbo Boxes nowadays, you get three hits per box, you get an autograph, you get a relic, and you get a manufacturer relic. But there's no mention of that anywhere on this box. They do mention diamond giveaway card per pack, and that's about it. You can see Joe Maurer is on the front of the box. And let's get through this and see what we find. In terms of rookie cards, the good rookie cards from 2011, in the base set at least, those are all in Series 1. Freddie Freeman and Chris Sale. Um, from Series 2, honestly, the best ones are going to be Michael Pineda and Darwin Barney. So not too much to look forward to. But here we go. Hopefully we find... Oh, well, look at that. Looks like we do get an autograph and two relic cards per box. I don't know why they wouldn't put that on the outside of the box, but okay. Let's get to ripping these and see who our autograph is. I guess I don't know if I should take these out of the box or just leave them in there. I guess I'll leave them in, in there. Hopefully the auto is somebody good. Like I said, for the base cards, I'll be looking for short prints because those are the ones that carry all the value from this release. So we start off with Prince Fielder back in his Brewers days. J.D. Drew, and these are nice fat packs with 50 cards per pack. There's Josh Bell. That's not the good Josh Bell. There's another Josh Bell before the Josh Bell you all know from the Buccos, Jason Hayward early in his career, Justin Verlander. And we flip on upside down, Sean Markham. Dallas Braden, who threw a no-hitter and then got injured and his career got cut short, but he made a comeback as an analyst, which was good for him. Jason Mott used to not like this guy, seeing him all the time at PNC Park. Kyle Blanks had a ton of power, just an absolute ton of power. I think he's like six eight. Or he's like Aaron Judge sized. Where is he at? Six six. Starlin Castro, gold cup card, Tony Sip. There's one of your rookies, Brian Broderick, if anybody remembers him. And there's probably the second best rookie that we're going to see today, Darwin Barney. As you can see, the quality rookie card is not that good. Michael Cohn. And you can see we're not getting any good rookies. But here comes a nice Cognac card. There's a Larry Walker, 1991 design. Jason Hamill, gold out of 2011. Diamond giveaway. Unfortunately, it's going to be expired, so... Not much I can do about that, but here's the nice Cognac Joe Nathan. And, oh, Rogers Hornsby. That is a short print. Very nice. Rogers Hornsby. Um, pretty short sure it's a short print. I'm not sure with the Cognac if that makes any difference, but I'll put that aside and look that up later. Got a Yastrzemski Mini in there. Annabelle Sanchez, who's still around and had a pretty good run there for the Nationals this past season. Jason Hamill, Ryan Ludwig, some of these guys. I'd say probably about half of these guys, maybe even more than half of these guys are out of baseball now. Michael Morse is gone. Carlos Lee is gone. Uh, Michael Bourne is gone. Yvonne Rodriguez is gone in the Hall of Fame. And he's talking to Steven Strasburg right there, slapping him on the back of the head, saying, come on, kid. Strasburg, of course, still around and a free agent, talking to the Yankees. We'll see who he ends up with. The Yankees probably have to get one of those two, Strasburg or Cole. Just to put them over the top, I would expect them to make an offer to one of them. We'll see. It's going to be a big luxury tax hit if they do. Now, Parra is overseas now. He just signed a deal overseas in Japan. Dan Ugla's out of baseball. His last year there, too, he struggled to even hit like 170. John Axford, Tyler Flowers, Evan Longoria. There's... Sean Figgins, don't call me Chone, which whenever I watch a break and people call him Chone, I'm just like, oh boy. Sean Figgins, a lot of people mispronounce that name. Pat the Bat Burl, doing a round there. Daniel Murphy, Danny Valencia, Fred Lewis, and here's another rookie. It's Mike Nickius, if you remember who that is, and Mason Tobin. So let's get excited for these. Joss Lukey and Jason Hayward Gold Cup. Jose Bautista, by the way, still trying to make a comeback. He's working out and trying to find a contract, but not having much luck. Mike Miner, nice cognac card there. Eddie Matthews, a 1979 design. 
Eddie Murray. That's his second year. Ryan Matson, gold card. Gonzalez, Robbie Cano, Diamond Stars. Pretty nice looking card there. By the way, the, this one has a coat on the back. I guess maybe it's sticking to something. There it is. I wonder what you won with this. I guess you would unlock a Topps card online and maybe win something. I wasn't collecting in 2011, so I don't know. But we still haven't found our autograph yet or either of our relics, so I guess that's good. Keep your attention a little longer, I guess. Jordan Zimmerman, man, that's been a bust. Look at his stats from 2019. I'm sure the Tigers would love to have that deal back. Cole Hamels just signed with the Braves just yesterday. $18 million for one year. And we finish things off with good old Brandon Allen from the D-backs there. So moving on to pack number three. Maybe this will have the auto. I hope the auto is good and it's not somebody that's long since retired. Those autos are worth like 50 cents. You can find those in your pharmacy boxes as your quote-unquote hit. Hey, Phil Coke. I like Phil Coke. I remember Phil Coke um, was done throwing on the sidelines because pitchers come out and throw before the game, usually before batting practice. And I noticed he was messing around with a knuckleball. So I gave him the knuckleball universal signal, which is just you just take your fingers and go like this to him, make that motion. He saw it, and he threw me the filthiest knuckleball that – I had to catch, like, it handcuffed me. It moved so much. But I'll always remember Phil Cook for that. And Brandon Kinsler, rookie card. Love Brandon Kinsler. He's a cool dude. He would always come over and talk to us at PNC Park as well. Get to know those NL Central teams pretty well as they come in quite often. Kinsler always thought it was funny how we would switch our shirts and stuff and run around and catch all the home run balls back in the day. Joey Votto. Uh, who else we have? Tommy Hansen Valverde. He was kind of a character. Joaquin Soria. Edwin Jackson played for basically almost every major league team. Really bounced around a lot in his career. Carlos Beltran, hey, he's now your new Mets manager. John Jason without the locks. What else we got here? Travis Snyder, I like Travis Snyder a lot. Matt Holliday finished up his career with the Yankees, if I'm not mistaken. And there's the Yankees team card. Still no autograph or no sign of either relic. So down to pack four. I hope... They don't short us. All right, so here we go. We start off with good old Johnny Gomes, most famous for his run with the Red Sox there, and Josh Beckett, another Red Sox player, and another one, Dustin Pedroy, and another one, Adrian Gonzalez. Who else do we have here? Adam Lind. I don't know if these names are hard for you guys to see and you need me to read every name or not. Eric Sogard, rookie card. Michael Pineda, rookie. Like I said, that might be the best one. Michael Martinez, who's a light-hitting middle infield type guy. Played with the Buccas for a little while. Johnny Damon near the end of his career. And here we get to the middle. These are always the insert cards. Don Mattingly, 60 years of tops. And then we have Don Sutton. And we have a gold card here. It's going to be Mike Fontenot and then Derek Jeter. And then we have a cognac card of Brandon Allen. And there's our hit. Not too shabby. At least it's a player that still plays. It's Jason Hayward, game use memorabilia, back from when he was with the Braves. Most single season hits by a player age 20 or younger. And Hayward would go on to turn those good Braves years into a giant 180, what is it, 187 or 189 million dollar contract um, that I'm sure Cubs fans are ruining the day he signed that. Let's go on to the rest of these. It's, that's a pretty good one, though. Uh, Hayward, definitely one of the best outfielders in the game, fielding-wise. I think a lot of people thought on the offensive side he was going to be like a 35 home run bat, but that just hasn't really happened for him. What the heck is this? Bring this card to your local hobby shop to claim your card for week two, Prime 9. I guess I know MLB Network used to have a Prime 9 where they'd rank the top – uh, players at each position. I guess you would get uh, player number two. That's pretty cool. It's probably since, long since expired. Yeah, 2011. September of 2011, that expired. So, cool little promotion, though. I wish Tops would do something like that again. I was kind of disappointed this year when Tops nixed their MLB The Show promotion. They used to put codes in packs of Series 2 where you would get 
packs of cards on a video game called MLB The Show. It's a very popular video game for PlayStation 4. I used to play it quite often. And, um, man, I could add a lot of codes because I think I ended up doing like 11 cases of Top Series 2 for a break, which took about eight hours. Starting to see some repeats now. Another Kinsler is in there. Here's our Cognac, Curtis Granderson. Diamond Duos, Tulowitzki and uh, Ubaldo Jimenez. Albert Pujols. And there's a nice... Mickey Mantle, 1956 design. That would be a nice one to get in the collection someday. And, of course, it's not real, folks. A real 1956 card would be slightly larger than these modern-day cards. Cliff Pennington. Todd Helton, do we have an autograph coming up? We have Drew Storen. Wade Boggs. Hanley Ramirez. And I don't think we have an, an auto in this pack, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. A low cane. Grady size when he played hard, he probably cut his career down because he played so hard, always going 110% into the wall all the time. But he was uh, one of the best for a little while there, back in uh, the mid to late 2000s. Brandon Belt rookie, forgot about that one. That's probably in the top three of the rookies that you can actually find in Series 2 of Topps 2011. Of course, Topps 2011 is most popular for, yep, the update set with the Mike Trout rookie card. So if you recognize this design and you're holding your breath for me to find a Mike Trout rookie card, it's not going to happen in Series 2. you got to find a box of uh, 2011 Topps Update. And quite honestly, a hobby box of 2011 Topps Update sells for $4,000. That's usually what the going rate is. So obviously I wasn't going to shell out four thousand dollars for bucks i did before you might remember last what was it christmas eve we did that break and found two mike trout rookie cards that was pretty epic one of them was a gold zach Britton rookie card that's a good one tim collins hank aaron 60 let's see i'm hoping to find that auto but it looks like we're gonna have to continue to wait michael gonzalez former buckos closer Back in the good old days during the 20 years of losing. Ross Ollendorf. I loved Ross Ollendorf. He's another cool guy. Really, really smart dude. He went to an Ivy League school. I think it was Princeton. And um, he was very, very awesome in the outfield during batting practice. He was always talking. And even after he left the Buccos, he'd always say hi to me. Cool dude for sure. I don't know. I don't think he plays anymore, at least in the big leagues. I think he's been out for a, a year or two. Last time I saw him surface, I think, was with the Cincinnati Reds a couple years ago. Good old Ross the Boss. All right, here we go. Let's find that autograph. And there's also a good old manufactured relic somewhere here, which is pretty much worthless to me, but who knows? It might be kind of cool. Maybe it's numbered. Got to switch these cards around for you so you can see them a little bit better. Dom Brown, Brett Cecil. Then we have Aaron Crow. Used to see him every now and again. He was always really particular about his hair. Like, he hated wearing a cap in batting practice. And he was always, like, fixing his locks. I was, I was like, why does he care so much about that hair? All right, we got Jose Bautista, who was a big-time star back then, hitting tons of home runs. Billy Butler, rookie card, uh, reprint. Karen Mabin Gold, Brian Mattis, not Matus, Mattis, folks. And then we have the Diamond Giveaway, Aaron Rowand, and that would be nice if there was a real um, Hannes Wagner T206 card in there. Of course, that card's worth a couple million. Before Tops was the tobacco cards. Brian Roberts was a star there for a while. Logan Morrison, good old Lomo. Barely hanging on in the big leagues. AJ Burnett. Some of these names will definitely bring you back. King Felix back in his prime. Jose Reyes in his prime. Good old Niger Morgan. That guy was, um, he's a character for sure. Niger Morgan. All right, let's see. We've got, he used to have a, an alter ego named Tony Plush. Like he would literally call himself Tony Plush. Definitely an interesting dude. We've got three packs left, by the way. So one of these packs is going to have an auto. One's going to have a manufactured relic. And one's going to have just a bunch of base cards. So two of them will be good. One will be... A dud, but you never know. The dud might have a short print in there worth some money. We'll see. Joe Nathan's on the back. And on the front, we've got Justin Masterson. Dan Ugla. So we're seeing some repeats now. Good old BP, Brandon Phillips. He was always good in batting practice. 
back in 2011, I was going to tons of baseball games. I haven't been to a baseball game since May 21st, actually. I'm really looking forward to next year. I'm going to get back. Um, I'm at least going to see one game for sure. There's Steve Garvey, 1982, Topps Design. And then we have Topps Gold of King Felix. Is the autograph finally coming up? Where are you? No. What the heck? It's going to be in one of those last two unless Topps jipped me. Kevin Euclid, a.k.a. the Greek god of walks. If you're a Moneyball fan, Tim Lincecum back in his prime. He faded quick, didn't he? Good old Timmy Lincecum. Cole Hamels, Franklin Gutierrez, Pirates team card. Good old Andrew McCutcheon. This was right before they were going to get good. They would become good in 2013. They would finally break through. Although in 2011 and 2012, they had stretches where they were in first place. And they were playing very well. And they just, like the last two months, they just kind of tanked. So there were signs going into 2013. But 2013, they ended up being a wild card. Going to the wild card game, taking on the Reds, beating Johnny Cueto. You might remember those Cueto chants and him giving up the home run to Russell Martin immediately afterwards. Never heard a baseball stadium so loud in my entire life. That was probably my best moment ever at a baseball game. And then the Pirates, of course, were going to lose in the next round to the hated um, St. Louis Cardinals. I think we have our relic coming up here, folks. I, yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure I see a nice thick card there. There's Ichiro, Josh Rodriguez, who I don't remember whatsoever, even though I was a pirate season ticket holder. Fernando Abad, he's been around for a while. Here we go, Ni 1994, Manny Ramirez reprint. I don't know what's worth less of this or the actual 94 card itself. Mark T and Gold, Grady Sizemore, and here's our second hit, quote unquote hit. It is a fake piece of leather from Bob Gibson. Now, that would be cool if that was real, but manufactured relics, they, um, they don't use actual game use material. So don't be faked out by stuff like this. This is stuff you usually see in the blaster boxes. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but some people definitely are. So, I mean, pretty cool if you're a Cardinals fan or a Bob Gibson fan. Leather um, nameplate, Bob Gibson. So that means that last pack's going to have our auto. Save the best for last, I guess. Hopefully it's not a Rod Brahas autograph. We'll see, though. Elvis Andrews, Derek Barton, Ryan Domit, Joel Hanrahan, you Washington Nationals fans. If you remember when he was on the Nats, you guys used to have a nasty nickname for him. You called him Gas Can Hanrahan because every time he came into the game, it was like pouring gas on a fire. And we finish off with Jason Nix. So here we go. Last pack. The autograph should be in here. If it's not... Tops, you owe me one. Let's see. It should be right around the middle of this pack. Drew Stubbs, Valencia Lackey, Chris Tillman. There's another Pat the Bat. Will Venable, Tim Wakefield. I used to love Tim Wakefield. Especially when he was with the Buccos when he first came up in 92. That guy took Pittsburgh by storm, and he just he hung around for a long time. Had a great career throwing that 55-mile-an-hour knuckleball. All right, here we go. Casey McGee was another bucko for a little while. Chris Medlin had some nice years. 71 design. Gaylord Perry, Joe Blanton Gold, Adam Dunn, the big donkey. And our autograph is going to be somebody in this next stack of cards. Yogi Berra, 1952 tops design. That's pretty nice. There it is, Logan Morrison. So it is somebody who still plays. Not a huge name anymore, if I'm not mistaken. He got a handful of bats last season with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, had a really good season two years ago with the Twins where he hit a bunch of home runs and just didn't really find a, a starting job anywhere. And um, His career has not recovered since then. So good old Logan Morrison, kind of an outspoken person back in 2011. Would always speak his mind, get himself in trouble, but... Um, love seeing him in batting practice. The guy's a beast in BP. Hits a ton of home runs. Here's the back of the card. You can see back then he uh, was a leader after July 27th in doubles. I don't know why they just arbitrarily picked that date, but pretty cool to have his autograph, albeit a sticker auto. Let's finish it off. Jake Peavy, Trevor Crow, Homer Bailey, who's kind of had a resurgence in his career last season after a terrible run with the Reds there. 
Uh, Red signed him to a $100 million contract and got about $100 worth of value out of Homer over those years. There's Mike Leak. Drew Storen, B.J. Upton, who changed his name. Go on to change his name to Melvin Upton Jr. Curtis Granderson, the last card, is gold Matt Kemp, who lost the 2011 MVP award to Ryan Braun. And then right afterwards, of course, Braun was caught up in that doping scandal, and it was revealed that he was using testosterone and stuff like that. So Matt Kemp lost an MVP to that. But... Had a great year in 2011. We only see 2010 stats there. But that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you're new here. I would love to have you back for some more videos. We do these baseball cards and baseball videos all the time. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.